Hello everybody and welcome to my Indie Game Spotlight for Secret Ponchos. Now this is an early access title on Steam that is a western-like top-down shooter where you pit off against your friends or enemies in an arena-type format. I kind of like it. It's uh, got a lot of unique characters. Not a lot, actually. There's only four, but they are unique characters. And it is quite fun gameplay, so we're going to get into it here. I do actually, before I forget, have an extra key for this game. So if you like what you see and you want a free game, uh, let me know why below. Why do you deserve this game? The person who has the best response in, I don't know, a few days, whenever I feel like it, uh, I'll, I'll throw you a key. So yeah, sounds good, right? Go ahead and let me know why. Um, so yeah, we're going to check out the Outlaws here. These are the different types of playable characters right now. And I really like this art style. It's that This is why I said it was Western-like. It's not totally Western. You kind of got, like, this guy is, I mean, you wouldn't, that's not a cowboy. That's just some crazy-ass... Phantom-like guy. It's really cool, though. Uh, we are going to go to create new because the only way to look at all the characters. But you can see we have four different characters here, and each have their own unique stats and own unique abilities. So you're going to want to choose the character that you usually like to play against. Kid Red has two uh, pistols. I forget what else he has, but he he you could look at the damage rates here. Obviously, the the old man, the killer, has quite a bit of damage. And then we got the guy that I play, Phantom Poncho. Who has a really cool whip as well as a big old shotgun in his uh, right hand. Really cool guy. And then we got the tank guy, of course. You always gotta have b one big guy. Uh, this is the destroyer. His primary is a hunter's rifle and his secondary is a med kit. And then uh, I, I didn't even see that before. This guy's secondary is dynamite. I never actually seen that guy use dynamite. I wonder if it's good or not. Um, and then this guy's a revolver and a hunter's knife. That knife is really annoying. Um, but yeah, those are the characters. A little bit about them. I'm going to stick with the Phantom for this video because it's the character that I like to play. So we're going to uh, search for a match here and get into it. Okay, so we finally look, got into a game, and unfortunately, most of the people are playing the same character as me, but that's okay, because who the hell cares? Um, we're going to get into it right now. Now, this is the arena-type format. We kind of start out at different sides of the arena, and you have to work together to kill the enemy team. Uh, pre pretty simple idea, obviously, if you've played any arena-type game. You get the idea, so... Before I go over there, I think this guy's gonna follow me, which is probably pretty smart. We have a dash, we can aim with our gun and shoot, and then we have a whip as well. I really like this whip because it kind of drags along the ground if you look like that. So, now let's start going, because we do definitely do want to get some kills here. Uh, where the hell are they? Oh god, there he is! Okay, so there is line of sight in this game. So if you hide behind something... You are not going to be seen. Okay, so we got that guy. I'm going to try and hit this guy right now. And... Ah, so if I can whip them, I stun them. So I'm definitely going to try and do that. Oh, man. This is really hard to aim, though. There we go. I got him. And now I need to shoot him. Oh, crap. I'm, I'm, I'm out of bullets. I'm out of bullets. I'm out of bullets. Oh, God. This guy's here, too. Uh, so I'm trying to reload and stay behind here. If I can. I think my, I just left my teammate to die. Oh, no. We're still doing good. Okay. So, yeah. It's a lot of, like, dodging and bobbing and weaving. And my teammate's doing really good here, thankfully. There we go. I got him, too. Uh, unfortunately, my teammate died. And I just died as well. But uh, I think we got three or four kills during our two kills. So that was really good. Um, but, yeah. This is essentially all this game is. It's not too much right now. Again, it is in early access. But if you do, like... FPS-like games. Obviously, this isn't close to an FPS at all, but, um, something different, which is really nice. Oh, crap, crap, crap. There we go. I stunned him. Stunned him again. Stunned him again. Come on. Kill him! Oh, my God. Okay, he did, did he just knife me? I think he just knifed me. That was really cool. Um, now, you see, the game axe is actually really quick as well. There's only 66 se seconds left. I like that. I don't like... Long FPS game. This isn't an even FPS. I don't know why I'm calling it FPS, but combat like games. Now, I gotta really help my teammate here. He's getting his ass kicked. Oh, God. Okay. Got him. And then. Got him. Alright, good, good, good. Um, overall, this game, there's not too much yet. Obviously, being an early access title, this is really all it is. There's a couple maps, and you do this 2v2 domination game mode. Oh, crap. Did I just let him die? I did let him die. Uh, we're gonna go back here, try and get to my teammate. I think he just spawned over there. Oh, crap. I just died. 
I was trying to get back to my team because the, the, I, I find after playing a few rounds of this game, the most beneficial thing is to obviously just stick with your teammates. Um, so I'm going to do my best to do that. But I think he's probably a goner right now. They're, they seem to be working really well together. Oh, God. And I am out of run, so I'm going to run back to my teammate here. There we go. Hopefully we can get in here. And, oh! Did we win or did we lose? Um, so this is kind of the ending screen. I think... I think we won. It's hard to tell because I wasn't really paying attention to the score. But we were doing really good at the start, and then they came back and kind of kicked our ass at the end there. Um, so overall, a really close game, but a really fun one as well. Uh, team 2 wins. God damn it. So that was them. They they won. Kills. Death. So I, I, I got 4 and 3. My teammate unfortunately died 5 times. I thought he was doing a bit better than that, but that's alright. It's not about winning or losing. It's about having fun, right? Uh, but yeah, overall, for right now, there's not much else to talk about with Secret of Ponchos. It's a really simple game. Um, I collected more bounty. That's essentially the elo of this system. As you do better and better, you get a higher bounty. My bounty's $468 right now. If you do worse, it drops the bounty down to probably zero, I'm assuming, is the lowest. Uh, cool idea. I do like that because that's kind of kind of got the Western vibe to it. But yeah, it's a really fun little game. Uh, it's good to play with your friends if you can get your friends to play it with you. I highly suggest it because, obviously, being a little indie title, there's not many people playing online right now, and that's one of the biggest issues with it. You're going to be waiting a long time in lobbies to get the game going on. But yeah, that was Secrets of Ponchos, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Link me down below if you want to pick it up for yourself. And don't forget, I am giving away a copy. Let me know why you deserve it, and don't give me any of that my grandma died bullshit, because I don't believe it. Uh, you don't have to be subscribed or anything. I don't deal with that. If you don't want to subscribe to me, don't subscribe. If you do, that's cool as well. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.